Alrighty guys, so Steam Next Fest is currently running at the moment, and we're going to be checking out a bunch of really, really cool indie cozy games, or just different farming kind of games, over the course of the next week, so I can show you guys some really cool stuff. So basically guys, there's going to be a link to the Steam page for this game in the description below to wishlist it if you're interested, so do check that out if you're really interested in playing this game. We're going to be playing Mirthwood today. I love the way this game looks aesthetically, so let's just jump straight into things. I think this game is genuinely really, really awesome. Alrighty, so we're starting in a burning village. So this game has more of like a, a medieval kind of aesthetic, and I think this looks so damn good, this game. Like, honestly, this game looks incredible. Like, genuinely incredible. Alrighty, so we got some character creation, which is real awesome. We're going to type in our name, which is, of course, going to be Lizzie Ipu. Uh, okay, I don't know why I said that, but anyways. Uh, we're going to choose our hairstyle. We're going to go with something maybe, maybe a little bit more... You know what? No, nope. best one, base one's fine. All right, we're gonna go with brown. I'm gonna choose a. Let's go with a beard, and let's also make that brown. So this is kind of a bit closer to me. We're gonna do thin because I don't know how that like looks. All right, we're gonna grab uh, just the Kessler. We're gonna choose a class. We're gonna go noble, and we're gonna go with the profession of farmer because I like that, that kind of style of play. So we're just gonna accept that. That's gonna be our finalized character. So it wants us to escape to the docks. I don't really know what direction that is in, but I'm going to assume because there was bad stuff happening over to the left. We're going to go, ah, uh, sorry, over to the right. We're going to go left. God damn it. I got my directions missed, messed up. <laughs> All right. So we're going to run this way. Oh, we got a chest here. What's in here? Oh, some gear. Don't mind if I do. Okay. Can we equip this? Yes, we can. And we have a sword. Ah. Awesome. We're going to take a look at those menus in a little bit because I wouldn't mind, um, Checking out some of the different things that are in the game. All right, let's go this way. Oh, 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 uh, hey, oh, okay, you're an enemy. Okay, combat tutorial, gotcha. So we can dodge roll with V, which is a little bit awkward on keyboard, but that's fine. Oh, there's a parry system? Wait, what? Actually? All right, so we can do a heavy attack, which is kind of cool. All right, let's beat this guy. Come on, hit me, hit me. I want to do a parry, bud. I want to do a parry. Come over here. Nope. All right, guess we'll just kill you then. All right, bye, bud. <laughs> Oh, I actually really like the way this game looks. I love this, like, dynamic kind of fog. I think it looks really, really good. All right. We can unequip our weapons, too, just quickly with X, which is pretty nice. Okay, we have a radial menu, which is good, too. Okay, okay. This is pretty simple so far. Okay, guess we'll uh, free him, because why not? Oh, so there's a morality system in this game, kind of like um, in Fable. Okay, I actually kind of like that. I really like that kind of style of things. Okay, very nice. What do we got in here? A rusted helm. Is that, if I put that on, does that like actually change my, oh, it does change my character visually. Ooh, I like that. All right, we got another guard over here. Let's give him some uh, heavy attacks. <laughs> okay, combat does feel a wee bit on the clunky side, but honestly, that's pretty uh, pretty normal for these games. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna knock too many points for that. Okay, so we're just going to ignore these guys, honestly, to let them do their thing. <laughs> uh, let's get to the these docks and let's see what's going on. All right, we're meant to get on the boat, get below the deck. How do I... Oh, I see, I see, I see. All right. Below deck. Okay, so we're now off the boat. Very nice. Are there any of these things lootable? Does not appear to be so. Onwards. What else we got? We got a little box we can open up here. I see they're kind of using like a mixture of like what's like kind of looks like 2D and 3D, but maybe not. I do, I do think this is in a 3D engine with the the they're going with like the the Paper Mario kind of style. And I think I, I really like that actually. So we've got to get on the horse, do we? Okay, so we're not controlling this. This is I'm assuming just like part of the early story. This game though, like wow, it's pretty, and I love this like aesthetic they've gone with uh, that old kind of like book writing style aesthetic or scroll writing, I suppose. I think this game, they did a really good job with the visuals in this game, like genuinely. Now, I believe from what I have my understanding, we only get to play four in-game days for the demo for the Steam Next Fest, but I'm probably going to play this in the future when it eventually releases, because uh, I think this game is very much worth playing. So if that interests you, consider subscribing to the channel, because, you know, if I'm going to be covering the game, you might as well subscribe so you know when it's going to be coming out. Anyways, very excited for this. Okay, we bought the house, the horse, the house, the horse, what? All right, we bought the horse to a stranger. Interesting. All right, so we're going to sleep in a bed. Okay, get some rest. 
Oh, wait, is this our house? Wow, that looks so... Oh, dude. Holy, the character... The models for this just look incredible. It's a very disheveled house, though, so hopefully we can... Uh, <laughs> okay, so it's a new day. And it looks like we have to gather some uh, wooden stone and build a craf crafting pot. Or, sorry, a cooking pot, so we'll get on that. Um, okay, so we got a crafting bench here, which is very nice. Okay, so we need stone and wood, which is, I'm assuming, what that's for. Um, are we able to just... Are we able to, like... No, okay, so we need tools. Where do we get tools from without... Maybe there are branches in the ground? Doesn't look like it. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, you know what? That checks out. <laughs> that makes sense. So we've got both our tools here, which we can swap between. Let's uh, use the pickaxe first. And let's get ourselves some stone and wood. I'm going to go do that right now. I will uh, be back once I've done that. The little thing, guys, as well, I've already said this before. This game has a demo up at the moment for Steam Next Fest. You can try the game out yourself. There'll be a link in the description below. Do keep in mind, as you can see up here, you can only, I believe, play four days of in-game time at the moment in June, in the, during this demo. Um, any more content of that will be available when the game like fully relaunches, obviously. But you can try the game out for yourself if you like it right now, basically. Do keep in mind though, this demo is likely only to be up for when the Steam Next Fest is happening. So if you're playing this in like a two weeks or a month from now, and the game's not actually out yet, you will not be able to play the demo likely. So do keep that in mind. Alrighty, let's get some wood now. Let's cut down some of these smaller trees. Alrighty, so we've got the wooden stone. So let's make a crafting pot. I'm uh, Kim saying crafting pot. What the hell's wrong with me today? I can't speak English. All right, so we've got our cooking pot. Lovely. So I'm assuming. We, what do we do? How do we put this down? Oh, I see. Okay, that's kind of cool. So we go like that. Awesome. We now have a cooking pot. Now, oh, yeah, let's go. Put away a tool. All right, so what does it want us to do? It wants us to, oh, we don't have a quest anymore that's marked. Okay. So it wants us to explore south and it wants us to do some planting. Okay, so we've got some farming we can do. Very nice. Okay, let's see. Have they given us some seeds to work with? They have. They've given us onion seeds, uh, cabbage seeds, carrot seeds, and barley seeds. Okay, that should be fun. Uh, we've also got a scythe and a hoe. Okay, lovely. So let me bring out the scythe first. We're going to clear out a little bit of space because I'm assuming that's what it wants us to do. Indeed it is. I just, I don't know. I just really love this game aesthetically. I think it's really, really good looking, to be honest. I think they've really done a top-notch job of, like, making this game look really good. It's just a vibe, too. Like, genuinely. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to have enough time to be able to, like, fully do all of this. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Uh, I'm going to toggle grid. I, I think I'd prefer this to be on a... I think I messed up. <laughs> I think I might have messed up. Okay, I do, I do appreciate that they have a grid system for this, and it's not just, like, free placement, like, 100%, like, you have an option to use a grid, I do appreciate that. Uh, Cause this would have gotten very, very, very messy otherwise. Also, I love these little bird things just flying about, the crows and stuff. That's a nice little touch to uh, things. Let's swap back over to the scythe real quick and just clear a little bit more of this. And we're then gonna use onion seeds, plant these. I think it wanted five of like each, didn't it? Hunger and cooking, all right, we'll, get it. we'll do that in a second. And we got cabbage seeds. So we're going to get these fully planted. And then we've got uh, some carrot seeds. I do like it that they just give you some like seeds just like very easily straight up. Oh, I messed up. Oh, I had the degree. All right, you know what? This is going to be a <laughs> bit of a messy uh, pile of stuff. Oh, well. Uh, oh, that's unfortunate. That doesn't all look good. <laughs> oh, I hate that. All right. Uh, do we have a watering can? Do we need a watering can? We do need... That's a cool looking watering pot. What the hell? Has like a little mushroom dip on the top of it. Oh, oh I like it that it's AOE. <laughs> I know it's such a weird word to use for this, but I, I like that it has like a little uh, area of effect. That's kind of cool. Okay, that makes watering actually like really quick and easy. I actually kind of like that. Not gonna lie. Okay, so let's cook some food since apparently the game is screaming at us that we're hungry. Uh, and we're gonna eat that apple. Very nice. Um, what other things have we got in this chest? You know what? I'm going to put some of this, uh, back into the chest. Can I just, like, quick store? There we go. C is quick store. 
So we're going to put a bunch of things into that chest that we don't need right now. And then we're going to go off and we're going to have a little bit of an exp explore, have a bit of a look around. Let me just quickly check my quest logs. So we need to grow those crops and let's head down south and see what we can find down south. Honestly, though, the vibes of this game are genuinely immaculate. Like, it's a very nice looking game. All right, whereabouts are we? So it shows us on the map here. There seems to be a town down here. There seems to be some kind of farm up this way. So I'm assuming these are like actual locations. I wish the map was a little bit more like showed a little bit more, but I also kind of like the style of it at the same time because it kind of forces me to actually properly explore. Hey, there's a little bunny rabbit running around. That's kind of cute. Okay, so let's head down. So we've got Edgar. Hello. Hey, you know, you're gonna... Oh, okay, I like that. So that's... I'm assuming this is like the relation... Oh. oh wow, this is... Ki Whoa, that's kind of in-depth. Okay. Was not expecting that. Oh, that is a lot of options. Uh, damn. I like that they give me customizability of the kind of types of things I can uh, converse about. Okay, I, I actually really, really like that. I think that's a very good idea. That's kind of like similar to the way uh, Sims does their conversation. All right, so we got some chamomile. <laughs> awesome. Man, this game just looks great, honestly. I, I really, really hope this game is like really has a good amount of content in it because this is something I can definitely see myself doing like a long playthrough of this game. Because honestly, the vibes are just immaculate in this game. Okay, so we're in Bright Oak, which is the closest by town, I believe. I don't know if it's the only town in the game. Uh, I don't think it is. Maybe it is at the moment. I'm gonna I'm gonna assume there are more towns. We just haven't you know discovered them yet. Okay, what do we got here? We've got someone's house, which uh, I don't know what any of the stuff in is. Yeah, I love that you can just walk in and out of buildings like this too, and the interiors and just general design of this world are really cool. All right, so we reached the town. What does it want us to do now? Pick up a quest. Okay, we can we can we can definitely pick up a quest. We can definitely do that. All right, what are the quests? So. Wants us to purchase an item at the locate and the meadery. Okay. Are these two people having an argument right now? That, actually, that is very, very Sims-esque. Those two like red lines and the green and red pluses or minuses. That is, I, I can very clearly see they've took some inspiration for that from this. And I kind of like that. I think that's very cool. So far, this game is like, honestly, nothing but positives from what I've seen. Oh, there is stealing and theft thievery as well. Oh, that's interesting. That'll be interesting to deal with. We'll talk to more of these people in a little bit. But that, that's very intriguing. Okay, so we've got this. That's the Apothecary. It might have um gone out a bit too late. I wonder if we do collapse as well. I probably should head back soon. Uh, you were feeling hungry. Yes, I know. Oh, I am feeling very hungry. Hold up. I don't have any food on me. Oh, Okay. <laughs> Can I take some of your crops, please? No. Okay. All right. We're gonna go. We're gonna head back home. Uh, we will. We will come back and uh, figure more of this out a bit later. But I, I just. I don't know. I love the way this game kind of feels so far. I think this game has the potential to be very, very big. You get a lot of those like farming sim games where you're like, oh yeah, this will be a little bit of fun, but it's not gonna be like you know like like a Stardew Valley or like one of the bigger kind of like farming games. I think this one genuinely has the potential to be like a big farming game uh, because this game is honestly like very, very fun. It is very, very fun so far from what I've played. I know I've played like nothing, so I've not actually, I haven't really played that much. Oh, I passed out due to hunger. <laughs> oh no. Ooh, that's not good. Okay, my bad, I'm sorry. Uh, I, it's, I didn't have any food in me, though. What was I meant to do? Oh, I had food. I just didn't take it with me like a numpty. All right, well, that was my bad. Uh, note to self, food matters. <laughs> food definitely matters. All right, so we're going to go to sleep until the next day. Hopefully, they didn't take up some of my time in the game. I oh, know I didn't. Okay, I still got three days left. Okay, it was awesome. Alrighty, um, so we need to locate the meadery. I don't know where that is. So we're gonna have to figure that out. Let's take a look at the map. Let's see if there's uh, something that resembles a meadery. It might be here. We might have to check over there. We'll do that in a second. Uh, we're gonna water all of our crops first, and then we're gonna head off and do that.
All right, so let's head over to here and see if we can try and find this uh, mead, mead, meadery. I, I do appreciate as well that they had this uh, little mini map in the bottom corner. That's actually uh, pretty handy. I like that that's there. Dell Farm. I'm going to assume this is not a meadery. It does not look like a... Oh, God, these are chickens. That's so cool. I can just kind of push them around. That's kind of funny. Okay. Okay, so this is very clearly not the meteor We need to go find that as soon as possible. Because we have limited time in the day. We're going to make time of our day. So this to be some kind of like graveyard church thing up here. It has to just be down in the town, right? It's got to be. I don't think there's anywhere else where it can be around here. Ooh, what is this? North Dell. Is this like a, like a shop? Oh, we can buy- Oh, this is where we buy our seeds. I see, I see, I see. Okay, that's fun. I did forget that I can run. I'm going to assume running uses extra hunger probably quicker than it does uh, normally. So we got to figure out where this meter is. I'm, I'm going to assume it's not this place because this is like the tavern, right? So it'd be the place where the beer is made, which I'm going to assume is going to be somewhere around here. All right, so we got a market kind of stall there, which is just, I think, a general goods kind of shop. Uh, let's not go there. There's the blacksmith. Okay. That exits town. Where, oh, where is the meteorary? What's this? Oh, we can uh, grab berries and things. Nice. All right, there's got to be, got to be a building for it somewhere. I'm just not sure entirely where. What is this? Read. Festival Blossoms to be held on the 24th. Dude, I I love this aesthetic of this game. It is just immaculate. The fact that they have like little flyers like posted around town for like notices like that. That is such a cool, like, it, it's not that big of a deal, but it's just like, it's such a cool like little feature that I just think genuinely is a good idea. I really like that. I cannot stress that enough. Okay, I'm going to assume that exclamation mark is telling me to go into here. Nope, that is an entirely different quest. Okay. Is this the meteorary? Nope. Go upstairs. Meteorary? Nope, this is that person's house. There's got to be a place for it somewhere. All right, we'll take a look at that quest in a minute. Where is the meteorary? I'm just going to walk into every building until I find it. That I'm actually able to walk into. Not friends with Eliza. That leaves town. It's got to be somewhere, right? Oh, there's jousting? Wait, what? Okay, so we can buy animals and stuff there. Ah, here we are. Is this it? I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to be looking for here entirely. Oh, this is like like actual like proper. Oh, this is so cool, actually. This is really, really, really awesome. I like this. It's actually like a, just a straight up just like jousting thing here. That's kind of cool. Alrighty, we cannot go that way, so that's uh, part of the limitation of the beta, or the demo, sorry, so we can't actually go that way. Alright, that's fun. Alright, we've got a little uh, graveyard here. Characters in Worthwood can pass away, be from illness, starvation, or attack by bandit wolf and Wait, that's kind of sick. Wait, is this, does that mean this game is kind of like Kinseed, where like the NPCs can all have like relationships and like children together? And then they would go for like generations of like different groups of people. If that's the case, I am all down for that. I like that kind of system a lot. Okay, I have no idea where this meteor is. I might be stupid. I might just be walking past it constantly. I don't know where it is though. Maybe it's not in the town and it's somewhere else. I, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea where it is. Okay, so there's fishing in the game. All right, well, since I can't really see where I'm meant to be going, I'm just going to head up north. Because uh, honestly, I don't know what I'm doing right now. I'm kind of just running around aimlessly. <laughs> okay, so we found the Blue Meadows. New location. Ooh, there's a cave here. Can we go in there? Cave, cave sealed for the demo. Okay, that's sad. That sucks. Oh, well, makes sense. It's fine, though. All right, what's over this way? I just want to like fully explore as much as I can before I uh, stop playing. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is, I think, what we're looking for. Yeah, this is what we're looking for. Oh, God, it's combat time. All right, let's go, let's go. We're going to bandit to fight. Oh, no. Oh, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Heavy attack him down. Kill him. Die. Oh, my God. Okay, first set of combat done. Oh, there's multiple mercenaries here? Ooh. Oh, we can loot his body. Okay, that's funny. 
Oh, there's a bunch of stuff here for us to take. Lovely. I like uh, I like the free shit. <laughs> All right, so we're going to investigate kind of what happened here. Interesting. Um, I'm intentionally not reading too much of the stuff as well at this point in time, unless it's like gameplay stuff as well, by the way, guys, because um, I want to make sure that when this game comes out, I get to play it like properly. Uh, I don't want to spoil myself on anything. Okay, so we're going to find... Ooh, uh, what's this? Open? Oh, that's not what we're looking for. I like it that it's kind of not really telling me what to do as well. It's saying, hey, figure this out. What's actually going on here? What's happened here? It's not just like a, oh, yeah. So um, here's exactly specifically what the thing you have to click on and do is. I kind of like that. All right, mana key required. We need a key to get in there. Can I go into this building? I can. Okay, that's also locked. What's in here? Beekeeper set. Okay, we're getting a bunch of cooking ingredients. I'm not really seeing what I'm meant to be looking for, though. Anyone who's played this game right now is probably screaming and being like, it's you meant to click on that thing, click on that thing. I'm just like, I don't know what I'm meant to be doing. Oh, duh, the key is on the table. I, I see the key now. Okay, that's, that's stupid. <laughs> that's stupid. All right, let's have a look around. What are we looking for? Okay, is there anything down here? There's a letter on the bed. I'm assuming it wants us to maybe go upstairs. So we're looking for just letters, I see. Oh, we got the key for the uh, the bedroom key. Okay. Uh, so I'm assuming we now go over this way, right? To get to the other key. Yep, okay. And then we go upstairs and... Oh, uh, that guy's dead. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave. Uh, I should probably leave. What the hell? Why is this guy just straight up dead? Yay. <laughs> okay. Problem solved, we are getting the hell out of here. All right, so what now? Okay, so restoring Medville is locked for the demo. Oh, wait, what? Med the Medville now lies in ruin. It ruins echoes and memories of better days. Yeah, perhaps it's not lost. Wait, does that mean we can own like a brewery? Like we get to restore this place to its full? Yo, that's kind of sick. Wait, what? Okay, so searching for syllables also locked for the demo. We can do that, um, and we need to purchase an item, so we'll do that the next day. But you know what? I feel like this is a good point to end this off here. I've kind of showcased, I think, enough of what this game kind of is. Definitely, if you guys want to check out this game, go wishlist it in the description below. Uh, this game is awesome. I am generally definitely going to be playing this when it comes out. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Have a good one. Bye. If you want to check out more things from the Steam Neck Fest that I will be making videos on, do subscribe to the channel because I will be making more Steam Neck Fest videos over the course of the next week, showcasing you guys some really, really awesome games. So anyways, guys, have a good one.